I'm Richard Trenholm with CNET.com with the Samsung Galaxy Gear asking, what's the time? Time you got a new watch. The Galaxy Gear is one of the first of a new generation of smartwatches. It's an Android powered watch that talks to your phone and lets you do lots of things that you can sometimes do on your phone, but without having to take your phone out of your pocket. So it's controlled by swiping through all these different home screens, uh, such as uh, you've got your photo gallery there, you've got your music, you've got your pedometer to track your footsteps if you want to keep track of your, uh, your health, here's your settings app, uh, and here's your other apps as well. There's going to be 70 apps at launch, such as uh, Find My Device, which allows you to find your watch by just pressing a button on your phone or vice versa. So one of the things you can do with the Galaxy Gear is you can make phone calls without having to even use your phone. So you can either do that by going into your contacts or you can actually dial the number right here on the watch itself. The default home screen shows the, the time and the temperature and the last time it was updated, but you can also change it to have different types of watch or show things like your calendar information right there on your wrist. So when you swipe down, the Galaxy Gear also has its own camera, which allows you to take uh, photographs and also short 10 second videos. You can wear the gear as a watch on its own, or you can connect it with a Galaxy device like this uh, Note 3. And you can do things like press play on the watch and the music starts playing on the Note. When your Gear Watch is connected to your Galaxy device, you've got an app on your Galaxy called the Gear Manager, which allows you to do things like, for example, add apps or change the look of the clock face. Another useful feature when you've got the two devices paired is if you lose your watch, you just hit Find My Watch, and the watch will light up to tell you where it is. So the gear has this silver metal face and it's uh, connected to this kind of rubberized orange strap. It's adjustable with this buckle, so uh, even if you've got bigger or smaller wrists, it should still feel fairly comfortable. It's, uh, it's quite slim, it's quite comfortable, it's not as chunky as I think we were expecting. Um, the only thing that I'm a little worried about is the big bulge for the camera on the bottom here, which does stick out quite a bit. So I'm Richard Trenholm and this is the Samsung Galaxy Gear. It's certainly one to watch. For more from IFA, check out cnet.com slash